What's up, Switch Gang Nation? It's your boy Marlin back at it again with another massive Nintendo news video for you guys and girls today, as well as some PlayStation goodness. And this is regarding, oh boy, Game Vice is back at it again. You guys remember the company that made the detachable controllers like the Switch uh, for the iPhone. Basically, Game Vice wants the US to block Nintendo Switch imports because it infringe on its patents. Oh my goodness, here we go again. I'm pretty sure the Nintendo Ninja's lawyers are going to fight against this and this is not going to happen and ruin Nintendo's momentum. Oh my goodness, like this is really bad. If this goes through, this could hurt the Nintendo Switch, but I highly doubt that this is going to happen. So apparently, uh, they filed another lawsuit against Nintendo and they're saying that the firm has filed another claim with the US International Trade Commission which has now agreed to look further into the matter so again guys I don't see this going through I think the Nintendo ninjas is going to jump in and stop this from happening because if they manage to block the Nintendo's uh, Nintendo switch sales in the US that can possibly hurt the switch and we know Nintendo cannot afford that to happen, especially bouncing off of the failure of the Wii U. They, they, just, they just can't afford that. All right, so leave your thoughts down below and let me know what you guys think about that. All right, guys, let's move on to a rumor here. Now, this is quite interesting. So apparently, uh, this article and this tweet is a little bit old. I would say about five days old, but... I don't see anybody talking about this, but anyway, Nintendo E3 2018 rumor booth to be Smash Brothers themed and Pokemon themed as well. So we remember Nintendo leaked out their plans stating that Smash Brothers will be playable at E3, but I didn't read or heard anything about a booth or a Pokemon theme boot. Now, if they have a Pokemon theme boot, then that would mean that Pokemon is definitely coming out this year. And I remember reading something about Pokemon either coming out this year or early next year. But here we go, guys. So apparently this rumor is stating that Nintendo's E3 boot plan um, it's courtesy of GU King of Heart on YouTube. He basically said that a source told him that Nintendo's booth will have Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Switch, obviously, and a Pokemon theme. Now, what's interesting about this booth plan here is that uh, King of Hearts confirmed that these props will be shown at uh, the Smash Brothers booth. So there's going to be a Golden Hammer. Uh, Captain Falcon's helmet, Link's Master Sword, Marth, Shulk, uh, we also have Bayonetta's handgun and booths, uh, Fox, Blaster, the Splatter Shot, which, you know, uh, hints at Splatoon, and Duck on Dogs can. So this is quite interesting. Maybe we're getting some of these characters to return to Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Switch, which is pretty obvious because we're coming up on the 20th anniversary for the game. And so yeah, that speaks volume to me. Definitely cannot wait for E3. And for people who are going to E3, they're, they're going to get the chance to play uh, Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Switch, possibly Pokemon as well. So take this with a grain of salt. Let's move on to the last part of the new video here did Sony just hint at a 5g PlayStation portable so of course like Nintendo Sony uh, corporation released its um, final you know their financial year for 2017 final uh, financial results sorry there and basically there were they weren't doing too well with phones or whatever their phones were selling really poor and so they pretty much hinted at a Sony 5G technology and pretty much this is a high uh, communication frequency with low latency uh, versus 4G and so one of the biggest problems with the PSP portable or not not PSP portable PS Vita I should say uh, is that it wasn't powerful enough to do the PS4 uh, remote play streams or what have you so with a 5G technology I do see that this could possibly if if 
if they have the right chipset and also uh you know memory or whatever they should be able to uh you know do this with no problems especially with ps5 coming out so apparently this playstation uh portable should be released alongside the playstation 5 to be able to stream ps5 games maybe or ps4 or ps3 or ps2 or ps1 however how this rumor is stating it but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below what you guys think about all of this all right guys this wraps up today's news video if you enjoyed it please smash a staggering 100 likes let me know you guys want more news videos like this subscribe if you're brand new to the channel turn on that notification bell to join the brotherhood that we have here and peace switch gang nation we out of here